more thing since I'm the chair of the Red Nation and this has been such a kick-ass evening. We all know what Santa Fe thinks of us. We do. We know what our reputation is in this town. That was made abundantly clear in 2017 when Jen and seven other people were arrested, when they put snipers on the roofs, when cops came out and basically caged and quarantined us, when we were literally just rallying and maybe carrying some signs, right? So there's an immense threat that indigenous women and that indigenous resistance and genuine calls for liberation and decolonization, which really just means we just want to exist on our own lands, and we want all life to have a future, right, in the planet. That's literally all that liberation means. Yet it's so threatening that the city of Santa Fe, with all of its liberal bullshit, right, responds in such a violent way, yet we're labeled as violent by the media here, by people on social media talking shit about what we've done. We know, we know what's going on in Santa Fe, and we know the risk of what we're doing here, but it's not just the white nationalists, right? It's not just the Trump supporters in Santa Fe that create this narrative. It's actually the liberals. It's the white liberal establishment who actually holds most of the political power in this city that creates those narratives because they have a vested interest in maintaining and normalizing settler colonialism and keeping Santa Fe the way that it is and not decolonizing this space, not reclaiming it for Tewa people and not returning this stolen Tewa land to Tewa people, which is the right thing to do, right? So the liberal valence, the valence of progressive, mostly white politics in Santa Fe, that shit just needs to be ripped aside. We have less than 20 years before we reach our doom, right, collectively on this planet as Lori said, if you're not ready to join us, then just get the hell out of the way. Because as indigenous people, we protect over 80% of the biodiversity of the world, and we are not gonna stop this fight because we want a future. Not just for our people, we want a future for all relatives. I think Justine said this, and this is why we do this work. We are powerful people, we are people who just want peace, but we know what we're confronting and we are not afraid to confront it. And so we're asking Santa Fe to join us and if you want to keep violating indigenous women in the streets by throwing them down when they're wearing their mantas, I mean, I can't stop you from doing that, but just know we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop this work because we are going to protect the future. We are the stewards of the future. The present doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the future generations. And that's why we do this work, and we understand it. So I just want to thank our courageous, brilliant, beautiful relatives and comrades up here on this panel tonight. I want to give them one last round of applause before we close out.